the experience that we provide uh, for fishing and for hunting is a solitary experience. Being out in the middle of nowhere with no modern amenities at all. That's what we sell. That's what. That's the wow factor of this area. Um, you know, and taken away from that is simply unacceptable. It's a National Scenic Byway. It's a National Scenic Byway, for goodness Route sake. Route 201. And so they said they wanted to minimize the impact by going off of 201. Well, where did they go? Right to where everybody travels, right to the, the beautiful mountains with 360 degree views. Right over the ridgeline of a 3,800 foot mountain. You know, a, a high ridgeline on Coburn is going to have massive towers on it that will probably have lights on it. Uh, nobody comes up here uh, to see lights uh, at nighttime uh, on mountaintops. Uh, just like grid scale wind projects, um, you see lights blinking on the ridge lines. I mean, people come up here to, to look at the stars at night. <laughs> that's what they do. It's a corruption of what we have that's pure. The place where Mainers and visitors from New England all over the country come here just to experience, just to see the beauty. And then they're going to rip a strip right through it, right across all of it, for four seasons. It's not just, it's not just rafting down the Kennebec River, which we're both guides and that's very special to us. But it, there are four seasons of recreation and people who explore the wilderness all year round are going to see this swath of towers and power lines. These are the precious things in the state that we're sacrificing here. Um, in the name of uh, green power for Massachusetts, they're not sacrificing anything here. Once it's there, it's there. Once, it, once that area, that swath is gone, now it's, a, now it's an easy target for more expansion. We can't procrastinate and say, we'll, we'll fight this later. We need to stop it now. Because if they get approved, if they get permits, to make this corridor right now, there's no end to what we'll, they'll do after that. In my opinion, if, if this goes through, again, that's just the beginning. Um, unfortunately, this, this area has a target on it, the whole area. Every mountain and ridge line in this whole area has a target on it for one thing or another. And if we open this door, if we l allow this corridor to go through, uh, it's, it's just going to be the beginning. It's, they're going to, what's to stop them from putting another uh, addition to the uh, 150, another 150 feet of a line in, an AC line uh, with a grid scale wind project on, uh, connected to it. Um, and there's no argument at that point uh, for their expansion. They've already got the permits for it. So they may be selling it as only 150 feet of power line, but it's a 300 foot corridor. So uh, who knows where it'll go from there. And in my opinion, uh, you know, you gotta draw a line in the sand here.